The young Sheldon kids are pure comedy gold, both on and off screen. From swag walks to confusing technologies and itchy wigs, let's see how the show's child actors are facing their cringy moments <laughs> and funny challenges. I was very confused by that. First of all, you have to know that behind the scenes of young Sheldon, the fun never stops, especially when it comes to Ian, who's known for his goofy antics. Just see how he practiced a new style of walking. Or how he seemed to record an audition tape for a Spider-Man movie. Or how he freaked out over Jeff Proops sending him a video message. Ooh, oh God, Jeff Proops! Yes! Oh my God, yes, Jeff Proops! Ian, what he up? Said my name. Jeff Proops from he Survivor. Said my name is Jeff First Proops. of all, Ian seems to be a huge fan. Hanging out with my bud, Jeff Proops. He even said that he plans to apply for Survivor when he's old enough. And there's one more thing he liked to do even when he was younger. Ian was keen on giving free massages to his co-star in between takes. Reagan what, and Ian, what are you guys doing right now? Uh, I'm massaging her hand because she was beating my foot. Don't get it wrong, he actually asked Reagan to do it. I like having my foot beat in the bottom of my foot. When you hit it really hard with like a remote or something, it feels so good. An interesting quirk you have, young man. Besides having fun on the set, Ian, like the other kids and young Sheldon, had to figure out how to work the 80s stuff, which weirded them all out big time. Why do you put this in here? I'm not an 80s kid at all. For Ian, Reagan, and Montana, all the random technology was pretty baffling. After all, the kids weren't even born then and hadn't seen anything like it before. Interestingly, the young cast were especially perplexed by the old school phones. I was confused by the very concept of a wall phone. <laughs> At first, Reagan thought it was a fancy storage cabinet, while her co-stars Montana and Ian had no idea how to use it. The filming crew couldn't stop laughing when they filmed Sheldon making a call. It was the first time Ian had to handle the phone, and he needed the older cast to show him how to hold the receiver and dial. Ian didn't understand what a dial tone right. was. What? That he was dialing first. And then picking up the phone. And then the picking phone. up the phone. But even that didn't immediately help the young actor, because the executive producer shared he was dialing, and I said, buddy, it's just seven numbers. And that wasn't the only confusing thing for Ian. He once shared that he was utterly puzzled by the 80s fashion, especially after he tried to hug his Mima behind the scenes. You know, I'll, I'll like put my arm around her and I'll be like, your shoulder feels weird. And then she's like, all of it's padded. And of course, it's hard for him to understand why computers were so huge back then. I mean, what was up with that? <laughs> That's bigger than my room at home. <laughs> Meanwhile, for the Missy actress, using a Walkman was the toughest 80s challenge. Let's just say that scene took a while. But from what we've seen on our screens, the kids eventually managed to deal with their confusion. How did they do it? Well, by doing what children are best at, by exploring the world around them. Because of this habit of theirs, Annie Potts, who plays Mima, gave them a sweet little nickname. We call them the ferrets. <laughs> and uh, you know when we go on a new set or something, it's all very interesting for them. So <laughs> they're in all the drawers and all the boxes. And... I wonder if they ever took home any of the bizarre old school paraphernalia as souvenirs. Something Reagan definitely wouldn't want to take with her though is Missy's wardrobe. You might think that she looked cute in all those 80s outfits, but she actually hated them. You have no idea how much sacrifice the poor girl went through for the part. First of all, Reagan had to battle denim every day on the set, and she wasn't comfortable at all. It was very challenging for her to even move in the tight overalls and jeans that were so popular in the 80s. To make matters worse, Reagan also had to wear woolen pajamas and pretend to sleep on bedding that made her body itch all over. Yeah, I'm like, itch, itch, <laughs> itch. At one point, the crew stepped in to help make things a bit better. Like, um, like little shirts and stuff to put under it, so it's not itchy and they'll give me like, um, pants. All those efforts made it bearable enough for Reagan to survive the take. In season two, the actress was relieved to find out that she'd have a short break from her normal outfits. As for the Halloween episode, she got to wear a funky costume with a bright red wig. Little did she know that the experience wouldn't be as fun as she hoped. Really, really, really funny because it was like this tall, but it was also very itchy. Reagan even had to use a rat tail comb to scratch her head under the wig. If you think that was the worst of it, you're so wrong. 
For a few episodes of the show, she had to wear fake teeth. When the cast and crew were on quarantine in 2020, Reagan lost both of her front teeth. And when filming resumed, they still hadn't grown back. Since we were halfway through the first slash last episode, um, I had to wear a flipper. For those who don't know, a flipper is basically a fake tooth. At first, Reagan was supposed to only wear it for one episode, but then she had to wear it for one more, and another one, right until there was another gap between seasons. Luckily, all of those itchy and toothy discomforts didn't get Reagan down. After all, she's always had a solid support system on the set, especially in her on-screen twin brother. Turns out Reagan and Ian are very close behind the scenes, and they're much more similar than Sheldon and Missy. Really? We are literally exact. We are literally the exact same. The young actors share a passion for Hamilton, theater in general, and also for pranking others. There's a costume lady named Miss Gina, and we love scaring her. And of course, they like having fun together. Everything amazing. Everything amazing. Everything amazing. Reagan and Ian's bond is so strong that they even came up with their own secret language. It's called Boogle Bongle. Ian came up, Ian came up with that name. Do you want to know what it sounds like? This is how you say hello in the Boogle Boggle language. Hello. <laughs> so, in fact, it's just English with a flair. Too bad Ian can't use Boogle Boggle in his scenes. Instead, he has to memorize large amounts of text for each episode. Do you think that he digs deep and tries to actually understand all of his lines? Well, no, he doesn't. I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> Ian admits that what Sheldon says is way beyond his comprehension. He even compared his character's speech to an alien dialect from across the galaxy. So the actor learns his lines by breaking them into chunks, and then he practices reciting them one by one. One scene in particular was more complicated, though. Remember the season 4 episode where Sheldon goes to a train museum? To us, the fans, it was exciting to see how he came to love trains so much. But to Ian, it meant memorizing loads and loads of new lines. Number 701 was built in 1930 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. It was a superheated 484 class GS1. Reportedly, the boy still has nightmares about filming the episode. The actor behind his on screen big brother had a far easier time on the set. Truly, the casting directors could not find a better Georgie than Montana Jordan. It just kind of happened. The guy lives up to his character 100%. The accent, the attitude, the body language, they're all on point with no prior research needed whatsoever. In fact, he's more similar to Georgie than you think. I love that he doesn't clean his room, because that's like me in real life. But his on-screen little sister told us the real truth. His room, room is more life. messy than Georgie's. <laughs> hey, who has time to clean a room when you have to study at school and be a star in one of the most popular sitcoms? So don't be too hard on Montana. Finally, here's something all three of the young Sheldon kids have in common. They absolutely love hanging out with Mima, and the actress behind their favorite granny couldn't be happier about that. And they're in my lap and all over me, kissing me, hugging me, telling me they love me all day long. And I get paid for that. <laughs> Sounds like a dream job, right? And for dessert, here's a joke that Reagan came up with herself. So why did the hipster burn his tongue? Because he drank his coffee before it was cool. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Who's your favorite character in Young Sheldon? Share in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about your favorite TV show, check out our other videos on Young Sheldon.